All right, Tony Scaponi here coming to you live. Today we're going to be playing some more Beseech the Mirror, giving the people what they want, of course. Uh, just give me a few minutes, as always, to put the word out there. Uh, it's a little bit weird with YouTube. I don't get the link to put the word out there until I start the stream. So thanks to YouTube, who is great, but in this scenario where we got to just wait a couple minutes. So give me a couple minutes to get the word out. I'll be right back. All right, buckle up, everybody, because we've got a wild one here. This is a ring, Beseech the Storm, I mean, Beseech the Mirror uh, Storm combo deck. Um, full disclosure, I I don't want to, using the term whipped it up makes it seem like I just like, you know, just kind of threw it together. I spent uh, about three hours last night. Uh, making this list and gold fishing it and testing it in the practice room and so but it's not like my usual weeks and weeks of you know the hive mind the cards only been out for so long right so um i started with i was going to do more of a black saga storm you know revision but i just my mind started going and all of a sudden i turn i kind of used like the PO shell that I've been going with, except the black version of it. Um, so I know the general deck structure uh, functions pretty well. So, I mean, the general idea here, of course, is that uh, we're trying to combo with Beseech the Mirror, but we also have very powerful just turn one, turn two ring hands that are protected with uh, discard. So whether we draw a bunch of cards and have one ring protection with uh discard backup or we just turn one or kill them or double discard them and then kill them later you know uh we can win through the ring thanks to bolus to citadel because once you really start get getting get going with the ring and paradox engine you draw the whole deck um, and then with key and enough permanence we can double activate bolus and kill them even through the ring if we need to. We also have plenty of just fast, you know, turn ones with empty. A um, little bit of tension, of course, with the colorless mana, but Cabal Ritual can filter into that triple black that we need. We have Dark Ritual, we have Opal's Petals, Black Sources. So it is technically Black Saga Storm, right? It's pretty much mono black. Uh, there are sagas, and it is Storm. So we are going to try this out. Sideboard is fairly straightforward. Again, not looking for perfection here, but we get some removal. We get some additional disruption. We have surgicals, uh, and we have some targets for for saga. So, you know, um, it should run relatively uh, smooth. It did quite well in my testing, and I am... Looking forward to just jamming some matches here. So I do want to take a second to thank our sp sponsors, of course, Moxfield, um, Card Hoarder, and Eminence Gaming. Um, and, of course, take a moment to plug myself, right? So 
Uh, if you don't already know me, I do have my own YouTube and Twitch. I stream and I make YouTube videos. So links are in the description, of course. However, if you wanted to look very quickly in a search bar, just type in Tony Scaponi. You will find me uh, everywhere you, you typically would um, just by that search. So we will have a quick word from actually you know what why don't you check out this token pack if you haven't already seen it it is sweet it is something that the epic storm team made uh it's a really good way to track storm you know goblin tokens denote your relay exile check it out and then we'll jam if i can find it there it is sorry Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right. Sorry, I just got to resize this thing over here. All right, here we are. Round one against Ramaha. Ramaha? I don't know. Good luck to my opponent. Okay, I I mean, this is fine, right? We have double discard and a turn two one ring. I'm in for it. And we don't have to, like, we can discard, see what's going on. If we need to, we can double discard. Um, or we can hold off and just hold on to some more mana. I'm totally fine with just pitching my Cabal Ritual. Do I want to prioritize Unmask or Grief? I think Unmask. Because if they, say, top deck or reanimate, they can hit our Grief. Um, so I think I want to, I think I want to lead with Unmask. Uh, sorry, I got to get the chat log out so that this is lined up correctly. All right, that's good. Uh, okay, so they are on seven. Let's go ahead and unmask our opponent. Looks like we're playing against Jess guy or blue white at least. We can take ponder. Or we can wait. I think I'm going to wait. I think I want to take Brainstorm, let them ponder, and then we'll grief before we play the One Ring. This Narset is a little bit obnoxious, but we can take that down the road, most likely. Let's pass it over. I would imagine they go Island Bonder. And if they didn't draw land, they do have to prioritize finding land. So if they find a Force of Will, but two non-land cards, they probably have to shuffle it. Okay, so they didn't shuffle. Presumably, they at least found a land. The nice thing is we do get to Grief. So we can ensure that this one ring, unless they drew Force and Pondered into Force, I suppose that's possible, but just very unlikely. So it's grief. And what do you got? All right, so they did find a force of will. Which obviously I am going to take. They found Lorian revealed as well. 
Play the monolith. Play the one ring. We could have held the monolith. Is this plus one mana in our hand? Oh, that's pretty good. That's a very good draw. Yeah, maybe I should have held it. All right, they're going to shuffle. Get their tundra. And now we really are looking to make it happen on this draw. What's nice is actually that we can um, pressure Narset for their tokens. So obviously Guy's Will is not the greatest draw. It is one tension in the deck that if you're drawing a lot of extra cards just kind of in a lin linear fashion um, without an echo you're much higher chance to draw your one guy's will at the same time at that point if you're drawing a bunch of cards there's so many other ways to win and it's likely not an issue all right they use that tundra so they're probably playing Nar oh, okay they're playing to fairy i suppose that makes sense narset just gets beat up by these tokens we're going to bounce the one ring. Interesting. Right, we'll make a token in F6. All right, let me reposition myself. So it's getting serious. Okay, what do we want to do here? Getting a key is basically like a soul ring. We'll have a bunch of colorless mana. We do have one black in Agadim's Awakening. Uh, we get to attack the ferry. We get to pressure Narset. If I make a token, I don't have enough to cast the One Ring this turn. Consider playing two copies before this been test with access to Brainstorm even. Oh, guys will. Yeah. Yeah, with Brainstorm, it, it changes that equation a little bit. So they have a Swords. We know this. Oh, they have Dress Down as well. So I don't think I'm going to make multiple tokens here. They're looking to like end step dress down, dress down, slam a Narset. So hmm. actually kind of a tough spot here. But I do like manifold key. And untapping. Three, four, five, six. We don't have enough to like double ring. But we can certainly cast one. Okay, they did not draw four, so that's good for us. Opal's not bad either. Let's get that one out there. Well, we're almost to the point where we can actually just cast Agadims to bring back a grief but I'm gonna put this into play I do wish I could untap one of these monoliths but that's okay all right let's attack to ferry now if they found a land they could swords the construct and then play Narset that's kind of a dicey spot to be in yep okay um, alright, they found a Force of Will, and they're going to Swords that. The Life Gain is actually very nice. We do get to draw an extra card from the the ring if we draw it on their turn, and are willing to lose all that life. Saga's pretty good. I mean, Dress Down's annoying, but it's still pretty good. I think I'm okay with just passing here. Passing, and then we're gonna draw an extra card with the one ring. And then we can untap one of these monoliths. Another Narset and another land. They play another Narset. Okay. Suspend will. Uh, yeah, I probably should have. Absolutely should have. 
I didn't think of that. I think it's easy to think of this as just not a card if you draw it, but it is a card. I should have used it. I mean, a Natty Tendies is not out of the realm of possibility. Questions, do I play another one ring? I'd really like to draw spells instead of lands. Uh, is this the swords that they used? I think it is. I do have the dress down. Might as well suspend. I think I can spend a turn without casting this one ring. And without dying. To fourth air lingus. Three, four, five, ten, yeah. Alright, they brainstorm. They're gonna have a lot of cards, but uh the hope is that I draw some spells and they counter the one ring, increase our storm count, lose a life point, and then die to a natural tendrils. Ah, that would be nice, huh? Well, it's come up a lot in testing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Going for the four piece. I mean, that's fine. You get to draw my card and not lose life. Ooh, and we drew a grief. That's pretty good. They pretty much have to commit this two mana here to dress down. Another Aer Lingus. That's the best they could have come up with. And maybe this is their only blue card. It's possible. All right, let's... And tap this monolith. It's oodles of mana. Oodles of noodles. Untap. And draw. Chromox. At least that's a spell. I mean, I think I can afford to make a token. We have three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen mana removes three if we activate. So twelve mana is enough to four, eight, twelve, enough to. Grief, One Ring, Tendrils. So I don't want to use... Oh, actually I can. I can go... I guess honestly I, I would want to attack Narset. So I might want to use this key... So I'm actually gonna tap these. I mean, we kind of need the black though, huh? Gives us three black. I really need four black. It seems kind of silly to pause for so long here, but the it's. This Ancient Tomb, I might need it as a black source. I can always use a Monolith and Key to untap Opal, but I'm trying to save my Key to be able to untap this One Ring in the event that it gets through. I can... Just not make a token, but I don't think that's right. I think, uh, I think I'm fine with just burning the one mana. No, no, no. We have exactly enough. We went over this. So it means I have to cast something before attacking. 
which I guess is fine. I'm not counting what I get off of this, so we have way more. I'm totally forgetting about the actual card from uh, from Saga here. So we get this key. So yeah, let's just let's just burn that mana. That's fine. Oh, it's really interesting whether we attack them or... Th I think we still attack Narset. We could have played more stuff out and then attacked them, but I think either way they're doing this, yeah. Which is fine. That's interesting with Grief. Maybe I was supposed to Grief first. I didn't think of that. Huh. What is Storm 1? 2. Then countering is 3. Four, five, six, seven. Puts him to four. Puts a grief into play. Am I really just passing here? There's some Aer Lingus stuff. Three, four, five, six, seven, five, ten. So four, five, six, seven. They can't kill us with Aer Lingus. They just dress down. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Feels weird, but I'm going to pass. Five cards. They're just maxing out Aer Lingus. They're going to 10 us. He untap this. Go right ahead. Can we draw a Beseech? We're 21 cards in. Not a single Beseech the Mirror. Come on. Really needed a spell there. Hmm. Um, what's hard cast grief? And I think it's going to come up that Will is a turn too late if we had just used it. All right, so they have double force. Which is problematic. Let's take force. Let's play monolith. Let's go like this. Let's go for the one ring. Force it. Let's go Chromox. No imprint. Let's go. Tap one of these. And 12 view. Yeah, if we had, uh, I mean, it's possible we still get there. We have draws that work. Uh, let's see, they're going to eight. They have exactly enough to to kill us as it stands. They have another, oh, they have another fourth air lungus, don't they? We knew about that. Let's say forced. 
Fetching, Ponder, they have Snappy. Um, okay, so Empty is just really good with Beseech the Mirror. Uh, it's an alternate win con instead of doing something like playing two guys wells. Um, they probably, I don't think they have lethal. Do they? One, two, three, four, five, ten. Yeah, they do. Or no, they don't. Seven, fourteen, so we go to two. So we have a chance. We would have won here if I had just suspended that. Yeah. All right, we punted. We punted. Um, Bolus is Citadel. Very much castable, obviously. We have a ton of mana rocks that get us to six easily, and we have eight cards that produce the three black, Cabal Ritual, and Dark Ritual, so it's very, very much castable. Um, and it's a way to win through a one ring trigger because uh, they lose life and it doesn't target. And also you can cast guys well off the top with Citadel worth, you know, worth noting. Also casting Beseech off of Citadel is pretty good too. Because typically tutors aren't the greatest with Citadel because the power of this is that you don't have to pay for the cards. So to put it in your hand and then have to pay for it is kind of... But Beseech the Mirror, just bargaining off of Bolus is pretty sweet. Um, okay, so Jeskai. I guess I'd probably want more discard. Haywire might for Deafening Silence. Surgical's reasonable, but probably an overreaction. Chromox not the greatest against them. Trim a little bit around the edges. We have a discard. We got a swamp. We don't have much going on this one. Oh no. We still have yet to draw the card. Beseech the mirror. Two, three openers and twenty, like five cards, and haven't seen it. Pretty sure we put it in the deck. Um. I mean, I'm gonna go to five. We do have comeback mechanics in the deck for sure. All right, we will keep this. We're going to keep Saga Tomb. And then I think it's Grief, Beseech, Ritual. Yeah. And then, so they're on seven, which is unfortunate. We're definitely behind going to five against this deck when they kept on seven. And I do have to play a little bit faster. Not as familiar with the play patterns of this deck. They pondered another saga. That's not bad. Definitely not a bad thing. They didn't shuffle with the ponder. I mean, also the fact that they had main deck dress down, that was pretty brutal. They did draw fairly well there. But it, listen, we did it to ourselves. We had lethal. We won that game if I had just suspended the guy's will. I just didn't even think of it. So we do have a win here, which is kind of funny. Um, 
but and it's protected, but at this point they have seven cards, two mana open. I, I doubt they have only one thing going. So I don't think I'm going to go for it just yet. I think I'm going to make another thing. Could be walking into Dress Down Shore. Um, oh, my... F Hold on, give me one second. I'm sorry. Alright, alright, alright. My phone was going off. I had to... I forgot to turn it off. Um... I think we get Opal. Yeah, let's get Opal. We'll play Saga. I mean, it might be worth taking a look here. Because if they only have one piece of interaction, they are dead. There's the dress down. So we make our black mana. And then grief just kind of goes into play. They're going to force it? I think they're forgetting that dress down is... Stopping the effect. Oh, and they're F6. So this is where I think we just make goblins. Because we can't actually get the mana again. Because opal won't be active. Um, but this is one of the reasons that you play it. Are they on F6? Okay, well. And you could one ring here. But I think that plays into their whole Narset situation unfavorably. So let's just empty. And then we're also making tokens. I mean, I am very happy with this spot considering we went to five. I think OP goofed. Yeah. Stole a game. I'll take it. Definitely take those. Okay. So let's run it back. I wonder if we should be playing a way to kill Narset. I mean, probably not. There's not a ton of Narset out there. Could play Bowmaster, but we're not really wheeling. I'm not in love with this hand. I don't like that we have tendrils, but it's certainly got some material in it. I don't mind drawing grief. It's kind of risky to not discard them. I mean, they didn't deafening silence us, which, which is nice. Very nice of them, right? Um, but they could have a hateful two drop, which is what we don't want to see. Stack based interaction is what I'm looking to beat. Okay, good. Not great, but okay. Let's play Saga. Monolith. Okay. <sighs> Is it greedy to not 
add them with it here. Now, I mean, if they want to tap out for a Narset, I think I'd rather be in that spot. I'd rather them have their lands tapped. So I don't have to worry about Fluster, Spell Pierce, stuff like that. Narset or Teferi? Oh. Okay. That's also pretty good for us. All right, can I get a ritual? Dark ritual or cabal ritual? I'll take either. Uh, I mean, just the black source is pretty good there. Hmm. I'm going to grief pitching beseech the mirror. All right, they have no actual interactions. We're free to get after it. But what are we actually doing? So we have three, four, five, six, seven. We do have triple black, so we can beseech sacking monolith. We'll have three post beseech. It'll all be colorless. We can replay petal, but we have the tendrils in hand. It's actually pretty awkward. We can. Um, can't really can oh yeah yeah our beseech winds up getting and casting a ritual yeah yeah so we're good uh let's take i don't know meltdown pretty sure we have it here so let's go pedal let's put this one into play Let's go like this, this, black, bargain, sacking, monolith. Yeah, and then we get to will and cast it. Get to. No, we did fuck up. Oh, sorry. This is where we did mess up. Yeah, because I don't have the black to go back with it. I goofed. Okay, so. We do, however, get to grief them again. I took the meltdown. They're going to have a verdict and a pending. So let's go monolith. Let's go reef. Take. Ending hits that. This verdict. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm sure there was a line there. Yep. 
Narset. Plate flooded strand. So double pending. We also could have just emptied, right? I think empty just wins there. Let's go make another dude. I just want to get another body. You can attack the chump. Very close to making this unblockable, but not quite. Yeah, I, I that was certainly the play. We really needed to find a ritual or not have drawn tendrils. Like, we would have been fine. Right. And I think if I had kept the other Beseech, I could have done something along those lines. But the clock was ticking, and I was fairly certain that it played itself. But it gets tricky with black requirements from when the front side used lands to get there. And they do, they bounce with the fairy, they played their tundra. Agadeems is just not really <laughs> what we're looking for. Are gonna swords it? Oh, even worse. Sure. All right, it's a fairy plus. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think we just win there if we empty. Speaking of, all right, we punted. That's okay. Honestly, it is to be expected for me with this deck. I have not, play, admittedly, have not played this card too much yet. I know, obviously, there's a bunch of buzz around it right now, but I've been addicted to Mono Blue PO, so I've been doing that primarily. Um, but that's okay. Let's uh, change the record here a little bit from... Eminence Gaming, and I'll see you in round two. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple, and it's done on the web, no downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. Okay. What I did like is that it has felt very powerful and that the game was winnable had we made the correct play. So those are things you want to be noting and looking out for when you're trying to, you know, figure out the validity of your deck.
Um, I don't hate it. It has problems, but I don't hate it. Yeah, and over time, it'll get easier. We're just, or at least I'm certainly not um, accustomed to this card yet. It's a, it's a different feel. The play patterns are uh, certainly different. So Cabal Ritual is here. I think we are forced to grief. And hopefully we can prevent them from killing us immediately. All right, they would have killed us immediately. <laughs> so good that we had grief there. Let's play a key out. Pass it over. If we can get to the end of this saga, I'll feel a bit better about this situation. Wanders in. I can't stand the chat box. There's like a little heart. To, here, I'll just show you. Oops. Well, it's not like this, but the sizing that I had, this was just in the way of like the last three words of every of the most recent message that has been sent. Not exactly what I want. So I guess that means I should make it bigger. There we go. Problem solved. We're learning. While we're waiting for the opponent to ponder. So they shuffled. They played out their delta. We are aware of Saga, Shuko, two unknowns. If we draw any mana source, we should be able to go off. It'll be one, two, there's a Shuko. Interesting they didn't play Saga. I get the feeling they have a Orem's Chant. Why wouldn't you play Saga there? Grief is, I mean, They didn't like pawn, like their the top of their deck is unknown. Do we have to grief? I think we're supposed to. And then next turn we're gonna be one mana shy beseech. Probably the biggest problem is that we're gonna wind up exiling Dark Ritual, which makes Beseech worse. Maybe I just take the chance. I'm going to chance it. Chance it, baby. If they didn't shuffle on Ponder, I think I'm griefing there. But they did. I'm still confused as to why they didn't play Saga last turn, though. Stoneforge, okay. Oh, I guess because they wanted to play Stoneforge this turn, not activate to make tokens. All right, they're setting up for Cauldra. That's pretty good news for us. But they could have an Orm's Chant, which is... Uh, that would be bad. That would be bad news bears. So I think we're just on pedal here. 
Trying to go for the kill. That wasn't a bad draw. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we're one shy. I wonder if we're supposed to be running a... Uh... No, I guess that doesn't help. I was going to say a singleton lion's eye diamond. I considered it. So we're supposed to just go unprotected. We have two unknowns. Well, yeah, we have cauldron and two unknowns. It's got to be petal. Yeah, we just gotta go for it. Okay. So now we go guy as well. If we hold priority, play it. Make black. Yeah. All right. It looks like we're in. So now we can start with grief even. Which is a pretty sweet thing about grief. Oh, they had force, but no blue card. Wow. Got a ritual, petal, opal. As well, make the black now. Now we can bargain, beseech, bargain, beseech, bargain, tendrils you, nice. Could have even gone one more time. All right, all right. All right, so we want Unmask. We have three Needles, which is actually really good for this matchup. And Surgicals. Hey, Wire Might's not bad, but probably not good enough. Fatal Push is kind of dicey. Six, seven, eight cards. So let's give up on engine. And empty. The pending post board. And trim a ritual. A key. Yeah, I said that a little bit ago. And I have thought of it. At one point I had it in the deck, but I wanted to play I want to play without it enough to know for sure that we need it. Uh, I guess on the draw I guess another combo deck I should be cutting a land. What land is it? Saga's kind of slow. Is it a black source? It's probably a... Mm, it's really tough to cut a Saga, huh? It's like no lands that I want to cut. <laughs> um, I 
Maybe the bolus. Yeah, we are slowing the game down, so I think sagas are actually good. So maybe ancient tomb is not quite as necessary. Or say monolith. I think this is reasonable. Um. hand certainly takes its time we do have disruption and land drops I think we can do better I mean honestly I think this is better just drop the opal really want to drop black card Metal. Sure. Let's go Saga. Can't really die just yet, so I think I'm going to hold out hoping that we draw a black card. So I do want to save these surgicals. You can oftentimes beat one. It's definitely harder for them to beat two surgicals. Having said that, Cabal Therapy is a pretty good card. But we are going to put them under some quick pressure here. That's for sure. Brainstorm, fetch land. All right, there's our black card. It's better grief or unmask. And they don't play any like reanimate. And we do have Agadim's awakening. Kind of dodges spell pierce. We're paying for it though. Yeah, I'm gonna grief. Okay. Surprised they didn't force that. Definitely taking Serenity. Um, they are hiding a card on top. May Ooh, maybe I was supposed to surgical. Yeah, because it shuffles what they were hiding. And I really don't mind just taking Serenity out of the deck. That was bad. Yep. That's a punt. That's a full punt. Um, having said that, we do have another saga. We have, uh, we don't have Haywire Might. Did not bring that in. Now that I've seen these Serenities, I think I bring in Haywire Might. Is there anything I don't want to draw? I guess another key, right? Yep. 
I can't play the saga yet. Oh, that was bad. It was really bad. I thought of it too. I don't know why I didn't like do anything further. Just one of those like, yeah, maybe I should nah. <laughs> Ball therapy, okay. No way they're gonna hit this dude. Beseech the mirror, okay. Ew. Flash it back immediately? No. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to play it. We don't have much of a choice here. Yeah. Play out the key. Obviously, we're way behind, but it's not, you know, there, there is a world that where we win here. If they don't draw any way to combo, like if they draw dead and we draw ancient tomb, we're just in it. Threaten a token. Make them counter our dark ritual. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Go for it now. Gotta fluster this, right? There's no way you don't. Yep. Sure. Getting in for one. Draw. Another saga is pretty good. Um. Do I just want to get a needle? Just name the nomads. You can also get Chromox. Kind of boost this saga. No, I'm going to get Needle. Hmm. 
Hmm. No wizard cycling. Right, we are hoping to draw mana source. This was the downside of going for needle. However, we're only getting hit for one. I'd say the worst thing would be like Stoneforge for Cauldra. Okay, so we found the mana source. Unless they force it. Are they going to force it? No. Sweet. Uh, okay. We're making dudes. And this saga, yep, there's the step through. Okay. Get the illusionist. We're pretty close to naming Shuko with another needle. We have two surgicals. I still don't feel great about this, but we're certainly make them, making them work for it. It's turn eight. On a game that we got four for one by a serenity. No attacks. Ooh. So now we can needle Saga if we want. I don't know that that's correct, but it is an option. It's a swamp. We'll make another. Maybe I should have surgical just so I. I feel like information is kind of key here. If we don't put it on Saga, we we have their Saga beat. They have Illusionist, Saga eventually gets Shuko, so I think I'm supposed to name Shuko and just actually shut off the combo. And hope they don't draw some sort of removal. Two needles, I hate it, they said. <laughs> can you? I hope we get to the point where we can play a third. They run into yet another Serenity, then we're in trouble. But I don't think it's worth surgicaling. All right, another Nomads and make a token. We're gonna do all sorts of chumping. Cast it yet. Let's get in there. Make a thing. Jump, jump. It is turn 10 against Cephalid Breakfast when we got 4 for 1 by Serenity and we are still not dead, so that is at the very least 
something. There's Shuko. Wow. Um, they could have done this before the Saga trigger to get a nice little shuffle. Maybe they just didn't want to be forced to shuffle and they already have a fetch land in their hand. Or they just missed it. Either is possible. Do it, do it. Got Caracas. Opal's not bad. Surely they'll force this one ring. But let's attack. Another double chump. Black. Opal. Choose this one. Actually, I guess color doesn't matter, but... Here comes the one ring. Hopefully no days yet. They're forcing. Pitching the fluster. Cephalid plus two unknowns and a draw step. Shuko in play in four lands up against the needle on both Nomads and Shuko facing down uh, Lethal. There's Illusionist. So one artifact means Lethal. One non-oval, non-ring artifact. Dark Ritual does not do it. But let's get in. Most likely putting them to one. know that there's anything worth surgicaling. I think we hold on to them. They have to somehow beat a lot of stuff. You gotta beat a lot. On one life and three cards. Okay. They have two blockers. Blocker and swords. Worms chant. Fair enough. Okay. All righty then. Really staying alive over there. Yeah, they can double chump again. All right, we got there. So we are one and one. And see when round three. With card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at the epicstorm.com slash decklist. Uh, Jordan, I don't know if you're there, but which one of these is longer? Because i got to use the restroom real quick. <laughs> um, I apologize if you got to wait just a couple of minutes, but i got to use the restroom. I will be right back. I will search. So when I come back, we are ready to go. 
They're all quite short. Yeah. Well, want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. Okay, sorry about that. Slime time. Uh, let me turn these back off. Somebody say slime time. Come on. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. So we won the die roll. Playing against Pitosi. With a hand that does a lot of discarding, but honestly not much else. I think we can do better. This is, in fact, better. Let's keep with bottom tendrils. And probably just going to unmask before anything. Get ourselves a nice turn two ring. What up, D. Allen? Oh my god, that stupid icon is back in the way of me reading messages. There we go. It's like, no matter what, man. No matter what. A stupid layout. There's got to be a way to. All right, opponent is being unmasked. Take that mask off. All right, playing against eight cast. They don't have any forces or chali. Oh, it is a blue painter actually. So I don't care about Kappa. I guess Emery is probably the most threatening thing here. Yeah. So I can go to Monolith, or I can just go Saga, and then next turn I can go Monolith Ring. I'm going to go to Monolith. Also plays Ancient Tomb, Bobble, 
Bobble. Bobble number three. Opal. Oh, just straight for the Kappa. Interesting choice. I'm actually pretty happy to see this. Now they don't use bobbles. Let's go. Saga. Now we don't have to pay two. I get a tap monolith either way. And draw. Opal. They don't play chalice. I guess I can keep that in hand. Alright, Saga is in. I'm gonna bobble a bunch. Here comes Grindstone. We are really hoping to draw into some gas. This is where we might be suffering a little bit for not playing Saga first. We'd have two less life, but Saga would be going to its conclusion. However, we wouldn't have access to making t making tokens, but I don't think we're making tokens, so maybe it was just strictly better to open with Saga. Not sending the message. I don't like it. All right, hopefully no force. Draw another grief. Well, at least that protects whatever we decide to do here. Draw two. Not the greatest draws, honestly. We could hard cast the grief. But one shy of doing so in addition to making constructs. I will say these are big constructs. But they're slapping us around too. And we're taking damage. So. I'm considering just passing. I think I'm supposed to just pass. Because we're not blocking this thing anyways. And we're going to be drawing a bunch more cards, so I might be able to get two griefs out of this to push through something more important. Uh, I guess we get punished if they have Painter. Yeah, maybe that's enough of a reason. We play Petal, Opal, and still save a grief. Forgo my Construct tokens. We can just pitch cast grief. I'm not going to pitch cast grief. Black, black, cast. So I think we're going to be trying to win based on comboing them with this ring. Yeah, there's Painter. We would have died. And I'll pass. Moly Goblin, get out of here. Making a token. Wait, did they play something? Okay, so they cast Bobble, and now they cast Thought Cast. Saga, they have two unknowns. 
getting in for eight. And hopefully we can win off of this one ring trigger. We're going to draw a lot of cards here. Should be able to win the game. We have draw step. We have one ring trigger. We have key untap one ring. We have a lot. We didn't even use bobble. It's kind of weird. Okay. Let's draw four more. Like that. Alright, still no tutors, but we can do grief stuff. They're gonna have needle for one ring. It's kind of a problem, huh? We didn't even hit a key. Damn. Let's go. Ritual. Let's pitch cast grief. Nothing. I go swamp. Go one ring. Which is this one. Let's draw a card. Right now, this doesn't hurt us. Um, so, yeah, I'm worried about Needle. So I think I'm supposed to draw my card right now with this one ring. Damn, huh? Very close. Get to attack. We get needle, name the ring, we go to four. I mean, we might be able to get there with like mini tendrils. Maybe they don't have Needle main deck? I doubt it. Oh. I'm not seeing a Needle. Wow, if that's the case, we probably just have this in the bag then. Island, didn't even play seat. More baubles is fine. I have a force beat. Most likely. Almost definitely. It's been a wild game.
what is going on here? All right. We're not dead. We take one, we draw, draw two more. There's a Beseech. Okay. It's awkward. We have this Tendrils. We have one, two, three, four, five, three, four. We have just enough black sources. I think I draw more. Draw three more. Now, we can grief. And only double force will save you now. They don't have it. One, stone two, black, stone three, play manifold key, play saga. You can even draw more, why not? Four. Cabal Ritual. Chrome Mox. And let's get them with the attendees. All right, they didn't have main deck Pithing Needle, but surely out of the sideboard they will have it, so we do need to think about it. Sometimes. Painter, painter, painter. So we don't have like an Emrakul or something from our sideboard. We do have needles, which are very good. Very good. So is Haywire Might. Shadow Spear is respectable. I mean... Given that we're needling up, I think we might actually want Shadow Spear. Surgical's interesting, but probably not good. Fatal Push kills Emery and Painter. I'm in for that. I want some number of discard. I don't think I want to go to eight. Excuse me, let's cut. Empty. Probably trimming mana since we're getting scrappy. We don't need rituals quite as much. Need three more to come out. I guess engine opal's a little bit inconsistent. I can probably cut a land. Or maybe just go down and unmask. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Can I get an unmask? 
That's fine with me. Bobble's fine. Opal's fine. Probably have interaction, but oh man, three, five, seven. Really wanted now. I'm looking for what one more piece of mana. Yeah, I think it's worth waiting here. Any discard or any one mana. Then we can double Beseech. I guess extraction is surgical extraction is kind of problematic if we go for guy as well. Um might just have a natural tutor chain. Especially if we draw like um I don't know, just some other other artifact. Kappa's fine. Tap out for a Kappa. Kappa for Kappa. They only have two cards. Pretty sure we have a single force beat here. That was very good. Uh, unless they counter... Oh man, we're in. We are in. Sweet. Shadow Spear. Ritual. There's 16 as well. Go for bargain, they force it. If we just go for a beseech. Bargain. So if we were to beseech again and they counter it, it's bargained, then we have nothing left to bargain. So I think we're just supposed to go for tendrils now. And it should be enough to cover a force of negation even. So we got there. Nice. So we're two and one, two oh two oh in match two and three, and match one we punted one of the games, so we could be 3-0 here. Um, but super sweet. I will see you in round four. Now you're going to hear about the podcast, Eternal Glory.
The Best Legacy Podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. Ooh, that's a quick one. Um, so I'm going to change the record. I do apologize. I forgot last time. I'm remembering on this one. So we are currently two and one. OP says, good fun. Have luck. <laughs> uh, we both rolled a one. Then they rolled a one again, and we crushed them with a six. So we are on the play, establishing dominance early on. That's how we do it. Okay. This hand is slightly underwhelming. But it's not terrible, right? Like, we have opening grief. I think we can do better, though. Well, one, two, three. So turn three ring off of Beseech. Obviously, it could get better as well. It could be a kill. Won't take much for it to be a kill. I think we can do better. This is not better. They're on seven. Okay, so this is a turn two ring. On five, I think I'm supposed to keep it. It's bottom empty and engine. Play out the monolith. You're on a Yorian strategy. Ooh, forcing. Okay. Pitching Atraxa. Interesting. All right, we we're hoping to draw an ancient tomb. Well,. At least it's a castable, I guess. Oh, that would have been so good if we had Monolith in play. Alright, my feet are asleep from sitting on them. <laughs> like a child. Lock it up. Nope. I apologize for the shuffling. Panda. Under no shuffle. All right, back over to us. We're in a sticky spot here. Grief not exactly what we we're looking for. We're in big trouble. I'm gonna get a chrome mox. So we can actually have a permanent mana source. It would be very difficult to pull off a win from here. Maybe I was just supposed to keep the turn one hand, or the first hand. It was reasonable. It really was. And plenty of draws would have made it, like, very good. I also didn't see that they were on Yorian, for whatever that's worth.
Hmm. They have 66 cards in their deck and 6 cards in their hand. Safe to say I'm terrified. Alright, we're going to pass it over. Now, best draw is Soul Land. Alright, Island Cycling. I'm going to play like a Leo. I really hope not. No. Okay. Hmm. Rough spot. That's a Leo. Yep. I need Saga right now. I mean, I'm casting it. Try to put this one ring in. Yes. Wow. All right. I'm going to draw now. No Bowmaster. We drew Saga. Ponder. I mean, we have a chance here. We are behind by quite a bit. But I did not expect this to resolve. I mean, I understand they have Leo, but I'm still going to draw a lot of cards off of it. Up the Beanstalk. This card's awesome. I do like that it's tapping them out. I'm not getting hit for three. I gotta do something to fix those notifications. I do apologize that my own personal notifications are popping up for this stream. Um, Saga. Cannot play Unmask. Not that I even necessarily want to, thanks to Leo. Thanks, Leo. Uh, again, I'm going to draw right now. Okay. Reason being, if uh, Bow Masters is on the top of their library, I don't want to give them the opportunity to play it. Is this what I think it is? Oh, yeah. So they draw. They draw. Then it comes into play and they flicker it. Or them. Draw two more. They will have to go to discard. So it was, it was like a draw four, discard two. Pretty good. Ooh, really? Come on. We slammed in the four color deck. I mean, it's pretty standard these days, but no less frustrating. Ritual. Hmm. Four, seven, four, seven, ten, we'll be at four, they're at sixteen, let's pass, 
draw petal. Okay. We go to seven. Field, okay. We have seven cards. Gotta imagine one's a force of will. We do have unmask. They do get to draw an additional card. That is a costly land. So I think we go unmask. Pitching Agademes. They draw their card. Gonna force, yep. They get to draw two from it. It's pretty brutal. It's ritual. Play the ring. Or am I dead? Am I dead? Get the force. They do. Alright. Yeah, I think I was supposed to keep that first hand. Not like just in hindsight, but in retrospect, you know, uh, without considering how the game played out just generally. I think it was probably good enough to keep. Um, I think I just want Haywire Might for Deafening Silence. And a little more discard. Come off of a little bit of mana. Yeah, let's try this. All right, can we get a turn one protected ring or kill, please? Hmm. I feel like generally speaking, our openers have been lower power level than what I was gold fishing. Although when you goldfish, you goldfish like, you know, a hundred hands. So a league is truly a small sample size. No, we have three of our one ofs. We have like four one ofs. We have three out of four of them. Generally not a recipe for success. And now we have two of them. Yikes. This has been a, a bad match. Am I supposed to keep this? Or am I supposed to just try to find a turn one ring to catch up? They mul uh They're on seven. But this seems really bad. And this is the type of hand that I was talking about. If you have like a monolith, at least you have a turn two ring. Uh, 
I don't think we can keep this. This we keep. This would have been a fantastic opener. This would have been perfect. But instead, we have three cards. Yeah. It's possible Paradox Engine's not good enough. You do get to draw your whole deck, though, if you pull it off. Plus, it's very good against Chalice. But I think it's just out of place enough but at least now like we have four mana in permanent mana sources so now like we get to go the one ring oh great Just collect roof which I didn't bring anything in for Yeah, we can move on. I mean, should I have? Probably. Yeah, we saw Green Sun Zenith, and you know, I should have brought in some removal. But either way, on a mold of three, we're not we're not getting there. Um, I think I've gone through all the ads, so we're just gonna jump. At, maybe I missed one. Cause I don't think that makes sense that we would have finished but I don't want to be replaying the same ad so I'm going to change the record two and two 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 two, two. and the sand is not bad I will keep Yeah, I think Paradox Engine needs to go. Yes, OP? You were saying? <laughs> uh, this makes me think it's like initiative and they're not sure what what's a rigor excuse me what creature is rigor creature type well let's find out shall we I'm going to unmask. I guess I'm going to pitch the other unmask. I don't really want to, but here we are. A dwarf combo deck. I, I don't know. Oh, they're... Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, okay, so we showed them unmask, pitching unmask. They're, they're going to think we're reanimator, which is good for us. I, I mean, we know they're a creature deck, I suppose, right? Because of cavern, so we should be playing these, most likely. Makes sense. Four cards. 
Probably trim on discard then. Trim the key. A noble, or I guess just I think engine's a bit out of place. We've yet to even see Bolus' Citadel. We haven't drawn into it. I, I'm not even sure if we've seen it in any of our openers. And that's how you summon it. That is how you do it. I will keep, I mean. See? Ooh, I like that. I think we might get to Bolus here. Can you imagine if we drew Dark Ritual? Can you imagine it? Can you? That's not a bad draw. Let's get Agadims. Maybe I was supposed to hold that. Yeah, I was supposed to hold that in case of Wasteland. That is how it's done. Legacy legal riggers. <laughs> Watch out for the riggers. The riggers deck. Like an oil rigger? I don't totally get it. Spirit guide, spirit guide. Okay. That's fine. A okay. Key. Two, three, four, five, six. We can just bolus. I think we should. Six. Five beseech. We can beseech for the one ring, which is also pretty good. But I'm going to go with Bolus. Hey, baby. Um, so hold priority and bargain. Oh, we hit the cabal ritual. That's why I hold priority, baby. Free three is for me. Um, or nineteen storm is six. I can cast Dark Ritual. Puts us to six. Then we can Beseech. Hitting Bolus. Two, cast Dark Ritual. Key. It's all lethal. Which is pretty good, right? <laughs> Never mind the Bolus. Yeah, let's get Dark Ritual. Opal on top. That's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Let's go key. Uh, I'm not going to cast empty. We'll just... I guess they could have... Um, trap. Sure. Oh my goodness. Ley line. It is free to play though, which is pretty funny. Oh man, goblin tokens and oh my god. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Or 
Where is it? Whatever. I'll just click one of these. Boom. Baby. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, what's better than that? What is better than that? Nothing. I know, left to right is, uh, it hurts. There are so many different ways to win there. Um, okay, so recap. As expected, there were some things that uh, need to be tweaked. I, this is literally first draft. I spent, a, a, you know, a couple hours. I didn't just slop it together. Um, and from a, what was already a shell from my mono blue PO ring. Um, just kind of swapping some of the spots, right? Instead of force of wills, you get discard, you get some additional mana instead of additional draw from the blue deck um, and explosiveness in the beseech, which ultimately gives you ring redundancy and just free wins. Um, but I think paradox engine is out of place. So I think we can remove that. I think, I think I want to go down on Unmask and just put them in the board um, because similar to Mono Blue PO, which only runs four or five forces, um, you just have so much gas that you can like windmill slam and slam to power through. It's nice to have some discard, but I think six, um, you know, between the two additional discards, like fi discard five and six, the natural awkwardness of Gaia's will, empty, paradox engine. Um, I think if we are to just make it a little bit smoother. And of course, it was a hard decision to play Urborg and Swamp as opposed to Vault of Whispers. Initially, I had Vault of Whispers, but I do like having some non artifact black sources. But we do have Agadim, so I think we think we could get away with like one swamp and two vault of whispers i'm not sure that urborg is necessary to put it directly um yeah we did talk about the one led i'm not sure i'm sold on it though i'm really not like it's fine for beseech but not even necessarily like obviously it's best coming off a of saga but it doesn't really synergize with, with much in the deck I mean, obviously, Opal, it's fine with, and um, you can, like, use it and then start activating Ring. So sometimes it is going to be the best card available, but I, what do we have, one spot where it would have been good there? I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe it's, it's definitely worth testing. I'm just not sure if it's optimal. But, yeah, I think I'm, I would wind up playing a couple of Vault of Whispers, one Swamp, to help smooth out our opal and bargain. Remove Paradox Engine. Probably, honestly, add the one Basalt Monolith. It really helps in the, the blue PO um, because the Monoliths alone are pretty decent, whereas Key Redundancy is not quite as good. Plus, we have Saga. We might even be able to get away with reducing yet another key. Um, which I think opens us up to like a whole card slot, like a 4x card slot, like um, maybe Deadly Dispute, which is actually even pretty good with Grief, you can get away with sometimes. Um, recycles some dead keys or monoliths. It could be right. You can sacrifice a ring if you need to. Um... You know, we could go to an LED IT type of list, even with what we have here. That's certainly worth testing and, and talking about. So I might try that. It might allow us to go down on land count a little bit, but we'll see. There's some things that you can do, obviously, <laughs> with this card. It's very powerful. So we're going to keep jamming, keep trying stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank... First of all, first off, obviously the Epic Storm. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to, uh, you know, jam some sweet decks up here. Um, and I do want to thank, of course, Eminence Gaming 
and um, I'm always forgetting their names. Jesus Card Hoarder, which I use on a regular basis, and Moxfield, which I did wind up, uh, I have started actually using because they can link to Twitch now, which is nice. So they're more convenient for me. Uh, Stream Decker has been very glitchy lately, so I'm going to slowly make my way over to using and utilizing Moxfield. Um, but of course, my own content, I got a YouTube, I got a Twitch, I got a Patreon. Um, you know, I make sideboard guides for my, you know, more solidified uh, creations. Obviously, I make YouTube content. I stream live on Twitch, coaching sessions, don't know decks, you know, the, the whole thing. I'm really trying to push it into uh, high gear and within the next actually I think like four or five months I, I think I'm just uh, gonna do this full time and quit my miserable day job of selling cars but that's a story for another day hope you enjoyed this um, and I'll see you all next time next week even probably jam some more beseech the mirror I will soon make a closer to like actual black saga storm uh beseech the mirror list that's what we intended on doing this week but then i got an idea and next thing you know i'm, I'm brewing for two hours at 2 a.m <laughs> well thank you for joining so see you all next time peace out